And I'm just looking straight ahead? Yes. Okay. My name is Jay Billingsley. I was born and raised here in Decatur. I've uh, been blessed in the last 20 years of my life with a wonderful wife, uh, three beautiful children. Uh, had a lot going on for us. Still not a lot of religious activity. We, uh, as a family, we did not regularly attend church. Um, we went uh, through a little bit of a rough patch in our family in the last uh, three or four years, and that led us to the LSA, um, wonderful school organization. So my three daughters attend there, and because of that, that kind of led us down here to St. Paul's. A couple months ago, I get a phone call from Pastor Mark, and he says, hey, we have this new course that uh, we'd really like you to take part in. And there wasn't a lot of uh, information about it. It was just pretty much here, I, th I think this would be good for you. So I thought about it a little while and I, I kind of hesitated to be honest. And something came over me that if Pastor Mark thinks that I belong in this class, then I need to at least go and give it a try. So I signed up for it for the um, kind of the beta test for the rooted model here at our church. Uh, go to the first class and there's a lot of discussion about uh, religion and uh, a lot of spiritual aspects that, to be honest with you, I consider myself still a rookie, a, a novice uh, in these discussions. And I really had a hard look, do I belong here? And uh, really honestly thought uh, maybe this just isn't for me. Maybe I, I'm not cut out for this yet. Maybe I need to grow a little more before I'm ready for something like this. And kind of shared those thoughts with Pastor Mark. And um, the two of us had a couple long discussions. And the more I thought about it, the more it came back to, there was a reason he asked me to be here. And so I just need to, I need to tough it out and, and give it a try. The longer I was in the course, uh, the more comfortable I felt, um, the more I, kind of realized that even though I was the novice of our group of eight or ten people as as for religious aspect uh, we were all broken and we all needed to hear each other's stories and grow from each other about four five maybe six weeks in uh, I could tell Something started to change inside of me, and I really couldn't put a, a finger on it. Um, I used to not live that cleanly. Uh, I didn't listen to that clean of music. Um, I didn't always have a, uh, a clean tongue. <laughs> and I just didn't maybe live the way that I would like to. I was just living. So in the midst of this class, I kind of, I kind of just realized those things about myself, my personality that maybe I didn't really like and that maybe I could do something about. After the class, I feel like I came out of it a better person. I'm thankful for it. I'm glad that I went through it. From where I came from uh, 10, 12 weeks ago to where I am today, I sure like myself more when I look in the mirror. And I realize now that there's something about my personality or myself that I, I don't like or I, I wanna do better at, then I, I know now maybe better how to try to fix those behaviors. To, to be able to share that message and that feeling with Decatur and Macon County, I, I feel like that's our mission as a church. Um, that it is a good feeling and it's worth sharing. It's, it's worth uh, sharing that, that feeling of, of contentment and uh, feeling like you belong. I mean, all of that is kind of wrapped up in this church that is St. Paul's and it's our job, it's our mission as members to get out there and welcome as many people to that feeling as we can. So whether that's it, opening our doors to, to the fall festival and welcoming people here to the church or going out to Cater Celebration and just being friends with people and just showing them what a, a good community we have here at this church, uh, I think that's, that's our mission.